are moving on seeing like an airplane some microphones i'm interested hi how are you i'm jay i'm shane from cyan some cyan okay yeah. shane what, what am i looking at oh uh, this is actually the software ui for the thermal acoustic camera so we have two types of cameras the thermal acoustic camera and just a normal acoustic camera okay so basically the difference is the thermal has the thermal option okay while the acoustic camera has just the sound it can detect a point of sound oh, I, I see yeah, so, so i'm so talking you, and the thermal image from where yeah. i'm talking okay yeah so once you make a sound like it moves to that specific location so oh. it, this this device is mainly used to pinpoint an exact location of the sound being produced Ah, I've yeah. seen some spectral cameras. I've seen yeah. other cameras used in this industry. This is the first time I've seen acoustic cameras. Yeah. So are you saying for like, if there's a problem with like the equipment or the, yeah. the what, if there's a problem in piping or such, you exactly. can pinpoint the area? Exactly. So basically we, this has been tested in pipelines. So basically if there is a sound being generated inside the pipeline, you basically have to hold the cam like in front of it uh -huh. and then you can detect the exact location the minor sound is being produced very cool yeah so you have a lot of equipment and stuff yeah. here we talked about this one we have a short time for our interview can we kind of move through and you can yeah, explain exactly. to me what's going so on basically this this set of equipment we use it for sound detection okay so basically this one it records all kinds of sound background e everything and what the next one does is it it's a specific device made for aircraft sound detection. Okay. So we basically have it equipped in different kinds of airports. Okay. So basically in Gime, Gimpo and Jeju. Mm -hmm. So basically what it does is this device records several different sounds. Okay. Then this one identifies the aircraft sound. Okay. And this is the software UI. So once you once there is an aircraft around it, th there are several mics. So the mics will detect it, and then this UI will show that it's an aircraft. Very so cool. what is mainly differentiated it is this data can be used to uh, identify what kind of aircraft is it, like a passenger airplane or okay. a helicopter, differentiate between. So that's the main purpose of this device. And then Fantastic. this is another project we are doing. It's a manless. Uh, digital twin okay so basically the factory this 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 is designed by us okay and it's similar to a factory in ulsan university right now okay. so basically it's manless we can operate it from here okay so once you send the signal from here it actually works in the actual factory very cool yeah now so, am i pronouncing this right is it cyan or cyan it's cyan cyan so is cyan a korean company yeah it's a korean company uh, founded by a korean person yeah okay and are these new products and new software within the industry or have you guys been developing these for a while yeah actually these have been developing for a while these okay. have been like around uh, six seven years before but this one is actually a new product which we started last year very cool. Yeah. And we do mainly these in combined with the Hangu Kangong Kondan. Okay. So you talk about, can we, can we talk while we wrap around the booth a little more so our camera can get a view of what we're looking at? Exactly. So you're, do, you're dealing with acoustic development. I can see all like the charts and the software. So you guys do the software and the hardware, correct? Yeah, exactly. We, we make our own microphones and then we test them and then we make the software. We have different teams for it. And this is basically how it looks when it's equipped outside. Ah, okay. Yeah, so when the flight moves across, then mm -hmm. it records the sound. So these are like all the software parts that are done and that's the hardware work. We so go and do the hardware work also. Can, can it also be used for maintenance? Like we talked about, for, for example, we're at an environmental exhibition. You're yeah. talking about having to do with airplanes and airports. Can exactly. it also be used to identify problems like maintenance, like water treatment plants and such? Uh, yeah, we have uh, separate devices for okay. su such as underground water pipes. Like if there is a, um, like, for example, if pipes have been underground for a while, you can't basically dig it out. Right. So we have a specific project that helps you identify if there is a leakage or something like that underground so currently that's a new project uh, we still have like prototypes and i think it's still based on ulsan area so probably in the future spread to other locations also very cool my last question yeah. you talked about how your uh, technology and products are already implemented in places like gimhae and jeju yeah. are you also exporting these devices uh, we have actually exported the acoustic camera to Japan. Okay. And uh, we have another device called acoustic duct, which is also exported to Japan and some some devices to China also. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank it's you. Cyan, right? Yeah, Cyan. Cyan and Shane from Cyan. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Have a great exhibition. Thank you.